What's good, YouTube? We are back with another tutorial for you guys today. Another Mugen tutorial. If you want more of these tutorials, like and subscribe if you haven't already. So, this tutorial is going to be about how to change the sizes of your Mugen characters. So, some characters like you download might be bigger than you want or smaller than you want. And this will show you how to like pretty much make them average size or normal or bigger or smaller, whatever you want to do. But this is how we do it. Another simple tutorial for you guys shouldn't be too hard. So first thing you're going to want to do, find a character you want. So I'm going to show you an example with this character right here. This is the uh, white beard for the guys of you that watch the streams and stuff. You already know he's a big one. This white beard is huge. So let's show you guys what I'm talking about. This is my band white beard. So let's show you guys. See how big he is. So as you can see, he is literally towering over the health bars and everything. And he's a giant character. So I'm going to show you guys how to tone him down a little bit if you guys wanted to. So here we go. So find your character. I'm going to go with white beard. So what we're going to do now go to your character folder well first open up your Mugen folder where all your stuff is you know the Mugen folder go to characters where all your characters are the downloaded characters that are in your roster okay so now we're gonna look for white beard um i believe this white beard for me he's called um the edward newgate folder so right here edward newgate all right so now you're gonna go into the cns folder cns folder so we're gonna be going to this one right here and sometimes there's multiple cns folders like there's one here common there's this one just when you go into it what you're gonna be looking for is this size um x scale and the y scale size so if you don't see that for instance if i open up this one and I don't really see those size um, section. Just go to the other one, check the other one. If you don't see it in here, check the other one. Normally it'll be just the name like this, Shirohiga, and then CNS. But just go through, go through um, all of them until you find this section here. All right, so now this is where you can change stuff. So we have the X, and the Y so the Y will change the height up and down Y it goes up and down and the X will go from the width left and the right so what you want to do we can go ahead and change the Y because 2.1 is pretty big the default from what I've seen with these sizes is just one so if I change the default if I change it from 2.1 just to one it should be normal size and i guess just to even it out i'm gonna put the x um x scale to one as well and this is something you can play around with so once you do that save it make sure you save it or else you won't see the changes all right we're gonna x out our mugen and we're gonna open up a fresh mugen here so we can see the changes so this time we put them at one and one. Also guys, make sure you know what it was at before. So in case you wanna go back to it and you wanna put it back at default, you know where it was. So what I do sometimes is um, copy these, that copy the way it was before. So copy it and then um, in case it messes up or something, you can put it back to the default. All right, so. Let's see if the changes took effect. All right, so now we're going to Edward Newgate, okay? We're gonna test them out here. Let's see. And there you go, my man is at regular size. He's literally normal size. This is the size he should be, um, according to the default number one. Because one is the default number for most of the characters' heights and stuff. So 2.1 is like a lot bigger. His damage is nasty though, look at that. That's crazy. But we're talking about his height here. So um, 
another thing if you had a character that was too small then going to one I guess would also work because sometimes you'll see characters like uh, at a 0 0.4 or whatever 0 point something and that'll be there that, that'll make them a lot smaller than normal and um, if you want to shrink a character that's the way you do it is put zero point whatever you want that will shrink the character even smaller than normal um, if you want to keep make them bigger then you, of course you'll do like three point whatever that'll make them gigantic because um, sometimes with these attributes you'll see like um, to go smaller it would be like negative one but for this you don't do negatives to go smaller just put zero point in the number and that'll make it go smaller but I like to keep it at default here keep it at the normal uh, width that is default for most characters so that's basically how you do it I mean nothing more to it this is a simple tutorial guys so that's how you guys change up the character sizes I got that request a lot so that's how you do it it works with pretty much any character some characters like the 3d characters for instance like um, let's say for instance John Wick right here John Wick because he's a he's kind of a bigger character but he's like a 3d character so sometimes the 3d characters could look a little weird if you change up their attributes um, I could show you I guess let's see so let's go to John Wick John Wick right here so we're gonna go to his CNS file that's DEF let's go to CNS uh, it might be this one see he has a weird CNS file just one that's why sometimes you got to go through many of them to figure it out but let's see so his X scale and Y scale see it's at weird numbers here so he's already smaller than what his character should be so if it was at one he would be a lot bigger which I wouldn't really want but for the sake of this tutorial let's see what happens if we put his Y scale we're gonna put his Y scale to one and let's see what happens here I want to see how he's gonna look and actually before I do that I'm gonna save both of these I'm gonna copy these right here just in case I forget what they were so that's what you should do just in case we're gonna put that at one keep the other one the same he might look a little weird now but um, let's see what's gonna happen I've had instances where the 3d characters look a little strange when you start messing with their heights and stuff but let's see what's gonna happen let's see what's gonna happen I might have to go back and change his X scale to one as well let's see where's watch oh okay here we go so I'm actually curious to see what's gonna happen Let's see John Wick. We're gonna put him against Hit. Holy crap! Okay, he's gigantic. He is gigantic. So that's what I'm saying. His numbers started off small. He already started off small. So making him at default made him like gigantic. So he's a character that, since he's already small, you don't really want to make him any bigger. Because you, as you saw, what happened there. So he's better off staying small. Um, so there's situations that can happen like that if that's the case you can keep them small or just shrink them even more so that's just an example I guess um, but yeah that's pretty much how you guys do it I mean I'm just I'm just doing random stuff at this point you guys get the idea that's how you change your character sizes you can leave some requests in the comments if uh, you want something for me to do as a tutorial or whatever Peace out, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See y'all. I'm gonna max them out. Let's see what they can do on their own here. Let's go. It's like the perfect evil Goku though compared to Sun Goku. Now we have an anti-Sun Goku. Look at his damage. No way. Wow. 
His damage is insane. I'm gonna max them out. 